just in 10 minutes we are going to discuss about creating row level security on multiple conditions using just one role if you are yet to subscribe this channel please do subscribe a note before we begin this is a continuation video of jtm8 in case if you have not watched that video please watch it first the link for jtm8 video is given in the description the previous demonstration that was jtm8 was basically aimed to introduce using the values function and the calculate table function to create dynamic row level security roles that was a simple introduction and so we have not focused on the model moreover in that example we have created a role through a dax expression on the fact table last but not the least the conditions are not very complex though they were not simple in this demonstration we will use a star schema model we will discuss a more complex requirement of configuring role level security we will define the dax expressions on the dimension tables the security requirements that we are going to discuss in this demonstration are as in the image the ceo will have permission to view every row of data every zone every state every category every segment rest of the users will have different levels of permission to view the data we are going to use a very simple logic to achieve this based on the discussions we had in the jtm8 video please note this result can also be achieved through many other logical methods i would like to focus on the second line item here the zonal manager south should be permitted to see every state in the southern zone or south zone every category items every segment items however we do have another user called regional manager kerala who should be permitted to see the data only for a state kerala inside the south zone and you should be permitted to see the data for all category items all segment items on the other hand i'm talking about another user whose role definition is country head consumer items he must be permitted to see all the zones all the states all the categories but as far as segments are concerned he is permitted to view the data only for consumer segment similarly you can see multiple combination of conditions and the last line item is talking about one zone one particular state one particular category and one particular segment the most important thing is that we have a user role table and that is not connected to any other table in the model we are going to create a variable in the required dimension table which will capture the current user who is logged into the system the same will be compared with the column name in the relevant column in the dimension table so this is what we did in the previous example also we are going to use the same method here with a minor modification as far as the state table is concerned since the zone column and state column resides within that table we need to define two variables within that particular dimension table called state for the segment table we are going to define something similar to what was discussed about the category let me quickly give a recap on the previous discussion this was the dax expression we have used in jtm8 video when an user called abc at xyz.com logs in this particular line item will be filtered in the user data table and my region will be 100 for this particular user and my state will be 10 for that particular user so this will be now applied on the policy data table and any line item that contains region code as 100 and state code as 10 will be filtered so this is the simple logic by which this mechanism works however now we are talking about a slightly complex scenario we have got multiple columns on which filters are going to happen in the previous case it was mere numbers 100 and 10 120 and so on whereas now we are talking about a scenario called all the ceo must be permitted to see all the zone values all the state values all the category values all the segment values because of this 
I'm going to make a small correction in the DAX formula that is going to accept the text string called all as a value in addition to any other value that can be filtered. This is the Power BI file in which the data is already loaded, all the tables are already loaded. As informed earlier, the user role table is not connected with any other table in the model. In the report page, I have just kept the user table for information and two matrix visuals. One of them is using state and category values and the other, the second table that I am highlighting now is using the state names and the segment values. When I click on manage roles, no role has been defined so far. I am going to click on create. Then I would like to give a name that can be my choice. Would like to call this as just one role. Would like to create a filter on the category dimension table. Let me click on the table filter DAX expression area and start typing the expression. This is the expression I have created. You can very well see that the first few lines of the variable declaration are similar to the previous example. The only correction or the only modification that I am using is I am creating an R condition and informing that if there is a value called all available in the table that should be considered else anything that has been captured by the variable should be considered. So this is the major difference between the previous example JTM8 and this particular discussion. I am going to create a similar condition for my segment table. I can just copy this, save this, click on manage roles again, go to my segment, simply paste the code, ensure that I make some changes correctly. So I am going to declare a variable called my segment. Let me complete the DAX expression and show it to you to save time. So this is the completed expression which is similar to what we have used in the category dimension table. Would like to save this also. For the dimension table called state, we are going to define two variables, one for capturing the state value, another one for capturing the zone value. And you can see the codes are similar. I may have to do one more small activity here. I may have to introduce an end condition so that in this zone, in this state should be captured. I can save this also. Let us now check the roles. I am going to talk about the last line item here. East zone, West Bengal, technology category, consumer segment items and this is the email id. Going to my Power BI file, would like to view the role as West Bengal technology consumer. Click OK. Now you can see that West Bengal technology, West Bengal consumer alone is being shown in the results. Let me now speak about another user who is the Manipur's home office segment in charge by providing his user ID and click on OK. Now you can see that Manipur is available here and then home office is the only possible segment that is permitted for the user. In terms of category, he will be permitted to see all the category items. And you can see that the total matches here. So this is how this works. If you are interested, you can create a similar data set and then try to use all the conditions given here. And you can find that it is working perfectly correct. Let me give you one final confirmation. I am in the states table in which I have filtered the zone value equal to south. In the south zone, you can see there are five states available. And one of the user roles speak about this kind of a scenario. Zonal manager south should be permitted to view the data for south zone, all the states, all category items and all segment items. His email id is given here. Let me just copy that. Go to my Power BI file. Click on the option called view as other user just one role and paste the user id. Click ok. Now you can see all the states pertaining to the zone called south are captured. All category, all segment items are available for the report viewer. So this is the confirmation that even a condition called all is working fine. I hope you are getting the point loud and clear. You have just watched JTM9 video. As mentioned earlier, this is one of the methods to achieve the desired results. Other methods are also available. Hope you will be able to apply this logic with your data sets. Your comments on the usefulness of this demo will help us to improve.
Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.